Hello and welcome back to Star Trek is Life. If you missed my previous video covering the creation and conception of LOL, please check it out. In this video we will be discussing LOL's attempt at humanity. Data wished for LOL to learn about being human, and per Wesley Crusher's suggestion enrolled her in the ship's school. Unfortunately, she was not able to socially interact with the older children, who were closer to her level of intelligence and the younger children who were afraid of her. While interacting with the children, Lal believed she had unintentionally made bad jokes, saying that they laughed at her remarks. Unfortunately, Data explained that they were laughing at her, not with her, mainly because she was different from them. Data sought parental advice from Beverly Crusher, explaining he did not know how to help Lal with her realization that she was different from other people. Dr. Crusher suggested that Data share his own experiences to encourage her. This is something he had not done before, believing that it would only discourage her instead. Data then decided that allowing Lal to work in 10 Forward would give her more valuable insight into human social interaction. She was mentored by Guinan, who tried to answer all of her questions, but left matters of sex for Data to answer. While working at the bar in 10 Forward, Lal began to improve on her father's original specifications, becoming able to use verbal contractions and even, eventually, to feel emotions. Her knowledge of proper behavior and timing was still lacking, however. After observing a couple's romantic interactions, she hauled an unsuspecting William T. Riker up off the ground and kissed him, despite the two only just having met each other. And this has been an insight into Lal's attempt at humanity. If you like what you heard, don't forget to subscribe. And remember, Star Trek is life.